Good morning, Lighthouse. It's day 12. The subject I want to deal with today is worry. Uh, I know that for many of you, this is a really, really big issue. Uh, I'm blessed to have one of the most amazing mothers in all the world, and she's probably going to watch this, and I'm, I'm okay with that. But my mom has the ability to do so many great things, but my mom in our family is the one who worries. Uh, and over and over in my life, I've heard my mom uh, comment to pray and, and would even call us and tell us about stuff. And I would make the comments, and Mom, what do we need to do? And she'd just say, oh, I don't know, just pray. Just pray kind of rings in my head. My mom has always said that, just pray. And you can remember it. I mean, there's a song that was famous, Don't Worry, Be Happy. And it, it's great to sing that song, but when life is kind of crushing in, it's hard to just say, I don't worry about it. Because we're kind of instinctively, a lot of us, that's just part of our makeup. That's part of who we are. Our DNA is that we worry about stuff. But God promises us that he'll never leave us or forsake us. But he gives us a lot of promises to encourage us so that we don't have to worry. If you look in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7, the message puts it this way. The translation puts it this way. It says, don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers. I like that. Letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. We know that in Jeremiah 29, 11, this is another promise that God gives us. For I know the plans I have for you. This is his prayer to us, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And I want you to look at the last part of this. Then you will call on me and come to me and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. When, when God promises something, he is not a man that he should lie. And so as we're fasting, as we're praying, I know there's a lot of things you're worried about, and it, it, it's everywhere from your kids, college funds, how we're going to pay the bills. Some of you are worried uh, about your health. Some of you are worried uh, about your children and their salvation. There's all this stuff that the devil and the enemy wants to use against us to, to help us focus on worry instead of praying. And so my encouragement to, for you today, my challenge for you today is this. When you start to worry about something, immediately take that to prayer. Don't worry about it. Just pray about it. Don't. When you start to worry about something and you catch yourself kind of kind of just dwelling on something, stop yourself and say, you know what, Lord, I'm not going to worry about this. You've promised to take care of it. I'm going to put it in your hands, Lord. I ask you right now to take it out of my heart, out of my mind, and you provide a way where there seems to be no way. So my challenge for you today is this. Don't worry, just pray. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.